Hey everyone, welcome back to the Wood Gas Fire Builders Workshop. So today we're going to talk about uh, leak testing during your build. So there's going to be about a total of 12 leak tests that you got to do during your build. And so these are some of the components that you're going to need um, uh, to do the leak testing. You know, first is for the water testing, we use a soap and water uh, in a spray bottle solution. We use a little air adapter that I can connect to my air compressor. And then from there, I've got to go to different fittings. So depending if I'm connecting to a one inch nipple or one and a quarter inch nipple, or in this case, I'm going into the uh, two inch silicone tube, which I'll use for the uh, cooling assembly, the condensate tube and the gas exit. So a few different uh, silicone connectors. So here's a silicone cap. Here's one with a 90 with a plug. Uh, for testing the uh, uh, water, you're going to need some plumber's putty. So on the bottom plate of the reactor, the bottom plate of the filter, uh, the choke mantle, for example, we use the plumber's putty to make a little uh, dam, uh, to uh, make a little water reservoir to test for leaking. Um, then you're going to need some half-inch plugs. So when we test the air jacket, uh, we're going to, where the air jets go, we're going to plug them up with uh, half-inch plugs. Um, then when we test the pyrolysis liner, the, the piece of metal that we cut out for the gas exit on the reactor, we can use that and attach a three-quarter inch nipple so it'll allow us to attach the, uh, the air pressure adapter so that we can test the uh, pyrolysis liner. And then when we do the total uh, tank testing, either the reactor or the uh, filter, we need some neoprene uh, rubber. So here I've got a rubber that will fit on the, underneath the lid and we'll secure it. And then I've got this bottom piece that will fit underneath the reactor bottom plate. So that will tend to seal up the reactor when we start doing the complete tank tests. So as I said, there's 12 uh, total leak tests that you've got to do during your build. Uh, this is what I use in mine. Uh, obviously, if you've got another method, you're welcome to do that. But it's, it's very important to do each and every one of these leak tests uh, to ensure you have a successful build. Leak, leak testing is probably one of the most important aspects of your build. If you fail to do these leak tests, uh, you could very well end up with a 600-pound paperweight. So uh, make sure you do your leak test, and then you should be good to go. Here we're going to spray here on the inside, spray here on the three outside. And we're going to add air and hopefully we don't see bubbles. Oh, there you go. There's one. Underneath the auxiliary port there. Okay. I need a flashlight. I don't know what happened to that light, but we can pop it and Okay. Do you want to mark where that is? Right, one more time. There's three. There's some here, some here. There's a little hole here. All right, so here we've got, we've got a condensate tube all ready to be leak tested. So we've got the end caps welded on, we've got the gas input, we've got end caps on there. Um, and then we've added a silicone elbow with the uh, fitting for the air compressor. So what I'm going to do is spray, we'll go through and spray the soapy water solution on the, the different welds. Air. Okay. 
leak there. Got a mark. Yeah, see that? So take our marker. Yeah. And mark him. That's kind of drying off. Actually, yeah, we look to the side. Like we got two. Okay. See anywhere else? Alright, so now we've got the reactor completed. We've got the heat exchange pretty well completed. Now we're going to do the leak test on the whole system to, to, to test the heat exchange. We had to put a, a cover on the top of the reactor and a cover on the bottom, and now we're going to feed air into the air intake. And we're they're going to test all these exterior welds around the outside of the heat exchange. So, got our soapy water solution. We're going to test down here. Also, we can test the auxiliary port ones too. Where's that one? Right there. There's one over here too. Oh, you see one? No, just the other, you know, the part. Looking good, I'm not seeing anything. No, oh, oh, there's, there's one. one. There's one. Okay, you got it? Yep. Right there. Yep. There he is. Okay. Okay. You see where it is? Yeah, I see it. I can, I'll, I'll zap that. Yeah. Okay, that's the only one I've seen. So that's pretty good. One tiny leak.